What's up guys, what's the crack? Here's one here. A step old ceiling, a swirly effect. All script down and PVA'd, ready for my bonding. And here's the child that's going to apply all the bonding and possibly apply the finish. The brand new rag now, stainless steel. Sort of grinded in a wee bit there, so it is. Still nice sharp corners though. Voila! That's it all bonded, guys. Easy peasy. Not really, but you just know the drill. You have to keep keep going, cracking on, and all brushed in, ready for the top coat. Two coats of finish. And it's all multi skim going on this one. Just waiting for the bonding to pick up. Which we never used to have to do, but for some reason they decided let's make bonded sit longer. Yeah, it seems to take a long time to pick up before we can actually apply the skim. So I got my two coats of skim on, multi finish, and just trail it all up now. I'm actually back onto my refiner trail as it's it's really well broken for skimming, guys. So it's hard to hard to see past it. Um, I think this is probably my second or third trial here and I will actually finish it off with a flexi trial from Ragnar, give it a, another good test out and you know happy enough with it so far and you know once you get it all shaped in I will polish the ceiling but I'm not trying to overly polish it just just put a nice, nice bit of finish on it make sure there's no no misses and just the way I walk it guys always lead with the brush and always making sure that the skim's nice and wet so the child doesn't tear or rip the finish and I get a nice nice trial in, nice flatten in. What way do you guys like doing ceilings? Do you use like using hop ups, trestles and planks? Or are you all on the same boat as me with the stilts? Do you find the stilts much easier, much quicker? Um, I do find it pretty fast set up. Um, just pull them out, set them up after you cover up and all your prep work of course. Um, but just find it very fast to set up and get going. You know, if you had to bring a pile of planks and move them back and forward you you might prefer the stilts but I know a lot of guys still use the hop ups this is quite a big ceiling so hop ups I think you'd get quite sore legs jumping up and down on them and you know just find the stilts able to walk the ceiling you get quite a nice finish but let me know what way you prefer them guys so gonna finish the ceiling off now I pulled my angle out here and I'm going to give it a good couple of walks with the new flexi trial from Ragnar. Give it a good test tonight. You can see just just the same way I was doing it with the refiner trial, just wet and sealing and giving it a, a walk through. And then pulling it back again off the back wall. I think this child's you know, straight out of the box. It's working pretty well. Um, much like a couple of other flexi trials. Pretty good. I think it's quite similar to the ox trial um, for sharpness and stuff. The ox trial might be that wee bit sharper, but definitely straight out of the box. Pretty nice. Uh, it's, you know, can't have much complaints on it. Nice rounded corners, so. You're not going to be digging in. I um, know some other flexi tiles are pretty sharp on the corners. But this one, straight out of the box, good to go. And like I said, quite a, a length of ceiling. So, good test for these tiles. And obviously the the new, new stainless steel trial that I had for coating, it's not properly broken for a full trial. A uh, bit of a look, not really taking much fat off, guys. 
and Charles still sharp enough and strong enough to cut back if there was any bits of bumps on the ceiling of the stage and again obviously fill in your holes as you go definitely find these flexi trowels take a quite bit of strain off the arms now the ceiling it's only started speckling brown at this stage so it's not got very very tight just just yet but it's definitely on the verge where the flexi trowels you know they save the muscle they save the shoulder save the joints a quite a bit i've uh, been recently doing lots of salt and cement work lots of rendering and flexi trials I, I wouldn't even try flexi trial coating that stuff but basically what I'm saying is when you're doing that kind of work if you can get you know a wee bit easier when you're skimming definitely get your hands on a flexi trial um, again you know a lot of years back there was lots of people had lots of negative things to say about them that they, they weren't good enough and they're too flexible but definitely with the time and rate and you know the wee bit of knowledge of when to use them that definitely come in brilliant I've always said that and to be honest I have never seen very many people dissing flexi trials now so I think the people that were dissing them weren't actually using them or maybe using them right and then when they found the method you know they've, they've seen the power that they have in taking that bit of strain out of your arms Again, I know a lot of people prefer to use flexi trials just on ceilings and don't like using them on walls. Um, again, it's, it's all preference. I personally do think the flexi trials on the, the last trial is perfect. Again, you don't have to run out and get lots and lots of trials. Everything can be achieved with a, a nice broken in, you know, nice broken in stainless steel trial or or carbon steel trowel as long as it's it's broken in right it will it'll be a good skimming trowel all round again I could finish this ceiling with the right sort of angle and pressure with a normal stainless steel skimming trowel that's broken in but again I, I, I can tell the difference of of how your joints are reacting and feeling at the end of the day and definitely flexi trials for me on your third and fourth trowel is the way to go um, even if you want to just do it on your fourth trial just wet the blade down and give it all a, a wee quick sort of a light polish doesn't you don't have to shine it right up just a, a quick once over um, you know I always use these trials you know practically have the ceiling finished by that stage but it's just that last final look around to make sure there's no holes or wee scratches um, Obviously, if there is a wee stone and it moves at this stage, that is the most annoying thing to ever happen. But, you know, it is what it is. It could happen even any trial. If you're going to leave it at the third trial, it could happen then too. But, yeah, nearly finished here. Just pull out this angle. And then it's really just clean up time. But, so far so good with this trial. And they'll keep giving you updates on it, guys. I know loads of you have used the Ragni trials and stuff yourselves, but you know, keep keep on going with it, and many other trials, and many other Ragni trials, and I'll always keep you updated, guys. If it's working for me, I'll definitely be sure to have it on the channel time and time again. So, definitely keep posted, guys, and keep your eyes open what trials are being used, what tools are being used and always giving my methods away and tips and tricks so they've always got plenty to come and hopefully do another big vlog of a house we floated and skimmed out um, quite a quite a lot of work that we've been at doing it so lots to see on the channel as always